Hi everyone, it's Mwelwa from Financial Insight. We are at the Zambief stand at this year's 2023 Agriculture and Commercial Show, which is in its 95th year. Today uh, is our day one of our coverage of Zambief, who are one of the largest food producers in the country. Stay tuned for all the insights that will be coming from the stand. Welcome to the 95th Agriculture Show here at the Zan Beef Stand. I'll take you through as I will come you to the financial insights. Welcome. Please get to know. Hi everyone, my name is Malwa and I'm at the Zambief stand at this year's 95th uh, Agriculture and Commercial Show. And with me is the Marketing Manager at Zambief, Mr. Chala Malikano, who's going to tell us a little bit about what's going on at uh, the stand. Mr. Malikano, welcome to the first show. Thank you and thank you for having me. Yes, yeah, so Mr. Malikano, tell us a little bit about how Zambief is interpreting this year's theme. The theme itself, as it reads behind me, is inclusive economic growth. What does inclusive economic growth mean to Zambief? Okay, so for us as Zambif, we are, as you know, the largest uh, agribusiness in the country. And uh, the way we're interpreting this theme is that um, in all our operations, our activities should impact the communities in which we operate and also the other players in all the value chain. So our model is vertical integration from farm to fork, but even as we do that farm to fork model, there are a lot of other players in the value chain that are impacted by, by, by what we do. Uh, as an example, we buy uh, about 140,000 tons of grain from 47,000 uh, farmers across the country. We also uh, buy keto from 27,000 farmers and then we, have, we buy pigs, 100% of our pigs, bought from over 600 uh, pig farmers. These are mainly small scale, medium to small scale. And then we, our, for our dairy operations, we have 90 uh, dairy farmers who are in cooperatives. And then we give them support in terms of technical knowledge just to make sure that the quality that we are receiving as off takers meets the, our, our, our high quality standards so that even as we produce the product, it, it's of high quality. We also have about 100 uh, external uh, distributors of our day old chicks and uh, also our Novatec uh, stock feed. Wonderful, wonderful. So um, at this year's event, I'm sure you know a lot of people are going to be coming to your stand. What what should, what, uh, should they expect when they come to the Zambi stand this year? So we are offering uh, our products here at the show a 10% discount. So when you come to Zambi, there's a, a, a full fledged store here running. All our products here are going at 10% off, and then uh, you can also we are offering um, a complimentary service where we are brying, so it's a buy and bry arrangement. So actually, I actually had some lunch and it was very tasty. Yeah, please. So when they come through, bry for them all your favorite Zambia products 10% off. All right, wonderful, wonderful. And we we'll look forward to engaging with you over the next couple of days, and we wish you well as uh, Zambia. And uh, from us, and financial insight. Stay tuned and get to know. Thank you, thank you. With me 
at the Zambief stand is Mrs. Musiska, who is the EHS manager, who will be telling us a little bit about what's going on here. Mrs. Musiska, how are you? I'm very well, thank you, Melo. How are you? And welcome to Zambief. Uh, I think this year we were very excited to be exhibiting at this show because the theme really speaks to what Zambief has been built on, an inclusive economic transformation. So apart from reinvesting in the economy, Zambief impacts a lot of farmers through small-scale farmers on the beef section, outgrowers on the, on the poultry, as well as on the dairy side. So Zambief has been built on the model that ensures that we have economic impact at grassroots levels. So for that, I think we are really proud and uh, we are proud to be a Zambian company that really impacts the Zambian people. That's wonderful. And you know, we know that you guys have been doing a lot of work around ESG efforts. Just tell us a little bit about how Zambief is positioning itself around ESG. Oh, okay. So uh, I think as Zambief, we take ESG as an eco-sided triangle. For us, all the three aspects of ESG are very important to Zambief. Over the years, we've really focused on the environmental, through the pollution control, climate change action. We should be proud to say that as Zambief, we are able to measure our greenhouse gas emission across the group, and that system has been audited. And we are proud to be doing the amount of work that we're doing. Being an agri-business, obviously, we are also keen on um, for, uh, deforestation reduction. So we ensure that we do not cut down trees where we're not farming. But also to speak to the social side of things, we make sure that we have a health and self-work uh, uh, group in the company. We also focus on the communities where we operate. Our farms are located in the rural areas. So we ensure that even as we are working at Zambief, we do not negatively impact the local communities or even disadvantage them from accessing the natural resources that they need. And then on the governance side, we're proud to be a very uh, corporate listed company on the Saka Stock Exchange. So obviously we follow our governance uh, law very well. We have a very strong board of, of directors. Out of that, we've got three um, committees that report into the board. And one actually focuses on environment and social. So for us, I think over the years, we have really strengthened our ESG. And we look forward to learning more on ESG and also improving the way we do business. Absolutely. You know, Financial Insight is proud to be you know, partnering with you guys at this 95th uh, show and uh, agriculture commercial show. And we're wishing you all the best over the next couple of days. Thank you very much. And please don't forget to buy Zombie. Hello everyone, Cedric Chuma from Financial Insight Zambia here at the 95th Annual Agriculture and Commercial Show where we are official media partners for Zambia. Right now I am at the Novatech stand I am joined by Vernon Muzamai, technical advisor who is going to walk me through the various feed offerings Novatech has. Vernon, if you will. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, so, um, uh, like I said, we've got a wide range of uh, products so there are just a few products that uh, we decided to, to bring to the show. So say for example, this is a, a pig grower concentrate. So this uh, concentrate is uh, a feed that will enable farmer to mix with, the, with their own grain. Yes, yeah, so they just buy a bag and then they mix with their own grain. So for example, you get this one bag of uh, pig grower concentrate, you mix with 75 kgs of maize meal. Okay, so apart from this, we've got the, the Nova Dog. So Nova Dog comes in two, in two uh, different packages. So we've got this one. That is uh, 6 kgs, and then we've got the 20 kgs. So we are just trying to balance up the equation. For those that are able to afford the, the, the bigger ones, even better. Those that are not able to, they can get the 6 kgs. Yeah, okay. okay. Right. Yeah, so um, here now, we've got the, the fish feed. So this is just uh, basically a uh, fish uh, starter. Then apart from the fish starter, we've got the Nova milk, which is um, a dairy concentrate. Yeah, so equally, the same as um, the... The, the uh, pig grower that I mentioned, the pig grower concentrate, you can equally just get this and mix with these other raw materials. Oh, wow. So, yeah, okay. so um, this one is a layer mash uh, for laying beds. Uh, so when they're at point of day, the first uh, feed that you need to give them is this one. Yes. Okay. So um, these are just uh, some of the products. And then this one is a pig creep. Pig creep is given uh, between three and uh, six weeks to your uh, piglets. To, ena to enable them have you know like a very good start so it's like uh, porridge you know like uh, so from uh, milk then you introduce the the cream oh wow thank you so much this sure. is very good
Pleasure, thank you. I'm at the Zambiv stand with the commercial executive, Mr. Jerry Kafizi. Jerry, welcome to the, this uh, special edition of The Fist Show from thank your you. stand. Thank you very much. Thank so, you for having me. Jerry, how are you finding this year's uh, Agriculture Commercial Show? No, it's very engaging. It's very interesting. Um, as you can see from the theme that we've uh, put around here in this space, it's all about inclusive economic uh, transformation. And as Zambif, we believe that we're doing that. Absolutely. And uh, you know, Financial Insight has been following your story for yeah. uh, a number of years since uh, the inception of the company. Yeah. Just tell us a little bit more about how, what the profile of your customers now is in 2023. Okay. So we are catering to a diverse uh, portfolio of customers. Uh, we're going all the way from people looking for their basic necessities for their families and all the way to people looking for value-added goods. Um, so we are servicing the full spectrum of consumers within the Zambian market space. Right, so from a commercial perspective, we know that one of your key mantras is from farm to fork. How would you encapsulate that uh, in a whole? What does that look like? So when we talk about from farm to fork, uh, if we look at the farming side, uh, we've got our farming operations, the biggest one obviously being in Mpongwe in the copper belt. And then whatever we're producing there, it's wheat, it's soya beans, it's maize. We're then uh, putting that into our feed mills for, to create the stock feed. We go into our flour mill, we, we produce the flour. And then we're using uh, the spin-offs of the products that we produce there to go into our feedlots uh, on, the, on the cattle uh, feedlot side. Uh, we're using that as stock feed for our chicken rearing business. And then we've got uh, that protein production uh, across uh, pork, uh, beef and chicken. And then we have the abattoirs where we do the slaughtering and the processing into the products that you see in the stores. Right. It, it, it does appear that you know your company is uh, fairly vertically integrated. Yes. Now, when we focus on the consumers, how would you say that you know the company is positioning itself, especially with what we've seen with you guys rolling out various macro outlets? Yeah. Are you trying to get to the uh, customer uh, closer to the customer? Yeah, so we're trying to make, a, make sure that uh, our portfolio products is available as close to the customer as possible, as cost effective as possible as well. I mean, we would love to be everywhere in Zambia, but that's just not possible. So we try to do, uh, you know, a check in terms of where can we be to make sure that we're as close to the consumer and customer as possible. But in that as well, it's also around the portfolio strategy that we have. Uh, we've got our own products, obviously. Uh, so we've got what we call the protein core of the business, which is the beef, the protein, the chicken uh, that we produce through our abattoir and processing facilities. Um, on the pork side, you've also got your value-added products. So your, things like your, your polonies, your cold meats, uh, your Hungarians, the very, Correct, fa yes. the very famous Hungarians. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and then uh, beyond the protein, we also got, as you look around here, as we stand here, you've also got Zam milk. Correct. Uh, so we've got Fairly a fully, diversified. Yeah, yeah, we've got a fully fledged dairy, dairy where we produce fresh milk and the value added products there as well, uh, which speaks to the consumer in terms of what they're looking for in their basket of goods. But on top of that, we, we also work with third party suppliers. We've got other products that we feel fit uh, into the basket that we're selling at, um, at, at Zambif in our outlets. And you've got things like uh, sugar, your salt, your mealy meal, your breakfast meal. And there's other few products that uh, we're going to be bringing on board very soon. I can't talk really? too much about that today. Okay. That sounds pretty, uh, you know, pretty exciting. And uh, just as a final thought, uh, how would you say the landscape, uh, especially for you reaching out to consumers, looks like over the coming, uh, coming year? We do understand that there's yep. certain macroeconomic challenges, etc. Yes. How are you positioning yourself to meet that? And maybe also maybe a commentary on uh, mm. competition. Yeah. How, how, how is Zambia positioning itself from a commercial perspective? I'll start with the competition. We love competition. Uh, it creates a healthy working environment in terms of you, you've got a gauge where you can then assess yourself in terms of how you're performing. Correct. You've got a gauge that the market and the consumer can also gauge to say how, how, how well is Zambia performing versus the new entrants who come through. So we, we, we embrace that. Uh, but then in terms of the landscape going forward, we want to make sure that we still have a quality offering in our stores. Uh, we're increasing uh, availability in our footprint uh, across, across the market to make sure that more and more of the Zambian market can, can access our products. But what you start to see, um, you know, starting probably this financial year and going forward, we're going to start talking to the consumer more. Um, so we've done and invested a bit around marketing over the past few years, but we really haven't engaged the consumer in the way that we, we would want to. And that's something that we're going to be investing behind. We've already bu built in some capability within the team. Uh, and we are now working across the business, not just as a commercial entity within Zambif, Correct. but together with our colleagues in the other uh, production divisions to start to put, put together and formulate uh, marketing plans that talk to the customer, talk to the consumer, and 
start to interact more. So watch this space. You're going to see some interesting things uh, coming through over the next few years. Absolutely. And Financial yeah. Insight will be right on your doorstep okay. to follow all the progress that you're making. Okay. Jerry, thank you so much. And we wish you well for the next couple of days at this year's Agriculture Show. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I am here with Ezekiel Sekele, who is Corporate Affairs and Sustainability uh, Executive at Zambif. Welcome to Fish Shots. Thanks so very much, uh, Chuma, yes. for visiting us at our stand at Zambif. Welcome. Yes, yes. And uh, the theme for the 95th Annual Culture and Commercial Show is Inclusive Economic Transformation. So what does that mean? The theme itself is very, very timely, I must say. Yeah. Inclusive Economic Transformation. First yes. and foremost, if you just look at the theme itself and segment, take, take out the first word, inclusiveness. Yeah. As Chuma, as Zambia, by nature of its value chain, just the nature of its value chain, that's where the integratedness, the inclusiveness comes in. Yeah. Okay? If you look yeah. at our value chain, it's vertically integrated. And the vertical integratedness of the value chain for Zambia speaks to inclusiveness. Why do I say so? Think of one who is constructing a house. First, you've got the first block, second block. The first block for us at Zambia is raw cropping. Yeah. Where we do farming for wheat, we do farming for maize, we do farming for soya. Right? Once we have done the initial raw material, the first block, we add value. Let's talk about uh, soya, beans, and maize. Yeah. On my furthest left here, we have the next uh, block okay, of value addition, where then we add value to soya, beans, and maize to make animal feed, the livestock, also some of the feed for fish farmers. So that is the next. We do have another section for cold food chain products and then we've got the retail sector as well. So the whole value chain, in terms of inclusiveness, we talk about running from farm to factory to fork. So it's farm to fork. It's highly inclusive. And this theme for this year's agriculture show in Lusaka is timely, appropriate, fitting for us at Zambia. For us then to begin to talk to economic transformation, you can only be inclusive before you positively transform the economy. We're talking to about 1% contribution to the GDP. Yeah. But how do we transform the economy? I tell you, Chuma, at Zambia, we work close with SMEs. Yeah. In southern province, to all our yeah. farmers, livestock farmers in southern province, we buy a lot of cattle from southern province, and we're grateful. To them. Yeah. So is Western Province as well. So looking at this, the lives of farmers, these are SMEs. They sell to us, work with them. So inclusiveness comes in. But don't forget, once they sell to us, we begin to talk to jobs. Yeah. Indirect jobs that we do create. And this is coming in from the 7,000 plus workers who work for some beef. These are direct workers. And if you talk to the multiplier effect, of about 30 to 40, one employee of Zambia contributes about 30 to 40 indirect jobs, then you begin to talk to more than 240 to 280,000 indirect jobs. Zambia, outside the mining sector, is among the top, top employers in Zambia. You're talking to over 240,000 indirect jobs. You're talking to over 120,000 affiliations of grain suppliers, livestock suppliers of dairy farmers who supply into into the business we do also have our grower schemes for poultry we have partnered with a number of poultry farmers our growers whom we support we supply into this into them the the, the chicks the chicks the, the, the beds grow they sell back into some Zam, beef and then take to the slaughter to the abattoir and that's the nice, nice, nice chicken you get from Hungry Lion. That's a nice chicken that you get at uh, ShopRite. If you go to ShopRite, you get that nice chicken. So beyond that, I even nearly forgot some leather. 
maybe the shoes that you are wearing, the leather, you know, the, the hides may have come from, even the ones I'm wearing, maybe it might have come from. Exactly. So for us, it's about creating wealth from waste. So from the hides, instead of throwing the hides, add value. So we're always thinking to ourselves, there is no waste. Waste is uh, how we are thinking. So we are adding value, value, value throughout. Even the area of circular economy. There's so much waste that comes in, the paper, the plastics. These, we've partnered with a number of stakeholders where we add value. So for us, value addition is key. And looking at the theme itself, inclusive economic transformation, this is very, very timely. And if people want to learn about agriculture, about how agriculture is inclusive and how agriculture is transforming the economy, Zambia is the stand to be at. And we will come each and every Zambian who decide to visit. Like you have done, Chuma and, and the team at yeah. uh, FIZ. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. This has been Cedric Chuma for the Fizz Shots. Uh, get to know.